In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called using Charles's law. Charles's law is the relationship between the temperature and volume of a gas when it is being held at constant pressure and constant moles. And mathematically, Charles's law is T1 over V1 equals T2 over V2. In this equation, T1 and V1 are the initial temperature and volume of the gas, and T2, V2 are the final temperature and final volume. Now, one thing that we have to really be careful about when we're dealing with temperatures in these gas equations, temperature must always be in units of Kelvin. We have a little bit of flexibility with the pressure units um, in using these types of equations, but we absolutely always must convert our temperatures into units of Kelvin. So let's begin by going through this problem and finding the variables that are in this problem, figuring out which variables in this, from this equation we actually know. So it tells us that we have a balloon that is filled with 33.9 liters of gas. That is going to be our initial volume. And the temperature inside the shed, the temperature of this gas, that's going to be 15 degrees. That's going to be our initial temperature. And we need to convert that into Kelvin. So let's just do that right now so that we don't forget. 15 plus 273 is going to be 288 Kelvin. And then it says the balloon is taken outside where the temperature is 7. That's our final temperature. And let's convert that to Kelvin as well. 7 plus 273 is 280. We're being asked to calculate the new volume of the balloon. That's V2. That's the variable that we don't know. So let's go ahead and plug these variables into this equation right here. Our T1, 288 Kelvin over V1, 33.9 liters. And that is equal to our T2, 280 Kelvin over V2, which is our unknown. So our unknown is down here in the denominator, which makes it a little bit tricky to solve, but we can use this mathematical relationship. The numerator of one side times the denominator of the other is equal to the opposite. That gives us a rearranged equation of 288 Kelvin times V2. That's these two is equal to, I'm gonna take this equal sign away, um, equal to these two numbers multiplied by each other, 33.9 liters times 280 Kelvin. If we divide both sides by 288 Kelvin, that's going to isolate the V2 variable. We'll go ahead and show how that's going to cancel, and our Kelvin unit, Kelvin unit will cancel, and we are just left with solving for V2. 33.9 times 280 divided by 288 and gives us 32.96 liters. Um, Alex wants this answer to three sig figs, so that's going to be 33.0. And the last thing that we should do is just double check, because sometimes Alex is tricky, double check that the unit that we're getting from this problem is consistent with the unit that it's asking for.